Today we rode along with police as they looked for kids and pets inside hot cars. 41 Action News reporter Kat Reed takes a look at what they discovered. If you've been outside today, you know just how hot it is. And we spent the day scanning parking lots row after row, all the while looking to see if anyone left kids or pets in a hot car. Moments like this one caught on camera are why the Overland Park Police Department hits the pavement patrolling parking lots on hot days. I'm going to go down and just drive through and see if there's any, anything that we can see, if there's kids in the car. Officer Chad Van Linker targets crowded shopping centers and even baseball games, scanning each tinted window for someone in a seat. A car seat this Luckily, that time, it was a false alarm. Two empty car seats. Good. Van Linker acts quickly because seconds matter when the heat index is 110. The inside of a car gets even hotter. Probably 130s to 140 is not, uh, I mean, just, and that's within as sunny as it is today. That could do that in, in just minutes. The police department tells us most calls are for pets left in cars. Kids are less common and usually unintentionally left in the back seat. We all have such busy lives. We, you know, like I said, everyone I've been on, they just forgot they had their child with them. In Kansas, if you're waiting on police to arrive and a child is in bad shape, you are legally allowed to break the window. If the kid's in distress, I mean, we, we definitely don't want to see the kid, you know, it, it get worse. In Overland Park, Cat Reed, 41 Action News. The laws vary from state to state, but in Kansas and Missouri, Good Samaritan laws do protect bystanders who break windows to save lives.